are you're gonna notice that the rules are the same. So when the signs are the same, you add. When the signs uh, are different, you find the difference. Here's the deal, though. We're going to treat subtraction signs like they are negative signs. Okay, so treat subtraction signs like negatives. So if there's a subtraction sign in front of a number, that's kind of like a negative sign, too. So that's important because here we have a positive 4, and we're going to treat that like a negative 6. So that means the signs are different. We're going to find the difference in the bigger number. Whatever the sign of that bigger number is will determine the sign. So in this case, the bigger number is 6. It has a negative sign in front of it, negative 2. All right. I'm going to skip, go back to do this one third. So in this case, we have negative 2 minus 1. So in that case, the signs are the same. We're going to add them up, but we keep the signs the same. So really what this is, subtraction can be written as addition of a negative. Let's write that down as well. Subtraction can be written as adding a negative, which is kind of what we're going to be doing here. So notice the signs are the same. We're really going to be adding these two numbers up, but keeping the negative signs. So now, signs are the same, add them up. So that subtraction sign is really like a negative sign. So notice how we change that subtraction to addition of a negative. Signs are the same, add them up, but don't change that to like a positive or something. The last rule here is when you have a double negative, when you have a subtraction of a negative, that's going to turn things positive. The same thing in English almost. If you say, I can't not do that, well, that actually means you can do that. So all every time you see a, a, a double subtraction, turn into a big addition sign. Kind of just complete. The, it almost looks like it's ready to be uh, completed. So now we have negative 7 plus 8. Those signs are different. I'm going to find the difference. 8 is bigger now and it has a positive. So again, this scenario, double subtraction equals a big addition sign. So kind of like works that way in English as well. So same thing here. 15, you have that. All it's missing is that line right in the middle. So I'm going to get 18. Double negative turns into an addition sign. Negative 6 minus a negative. All that's missing is that middle line there to turn it into an addition sign. Negative 6 plus 10. So now we need to look, think about our rules from last lesson. Signs are different. So you find the difference. Difference is 4. And 10 is the bigger number, so we leave it positive. Negative 25 minus 30, so that's where that the signs are the same. They're both negative, and so that means we add them up. We add them up. Signs are the same, you add. Signs are different, find the difference. Longest gain in football is 41 yards. The worst loss is 14 yards. What is the difference between the two? So if they gained, so let's say they're here, they gained 41, but they lost 14. So we want to find the distance from here to here. So the loss can be written as 14, and the gain could be written as a plus sign. So the difference between the two. So we want to know like how far apart the difference between the two would be that. So actually from here to here would be I'm sorry. Let's go back here. The difference between 41 Give me a minute here. So 
So we have a pot, we have 41, and basically we're, we want to find the difference, which always means subtraction of negative a loss 14. So what do we get? We get a big, and we have 55 yards. It's going to be from there to there. Okay, so, oh, and I had that right there. So 55 yards. Finally, temperature never drops from 24 degrees to negative 14. What is the change in temperature? So change, again, indicates I want to find the difference of these two. And so it's going to be big addition sign to 40 degrees Fahrenheit change. That's a 40 degree drop. Okay.